Welcome back to Let's Cook! The focus of today's episode comes from Paul Hollywood's Bake, Banoffee Pie. Which means this is my second Great British Bake Off related episode. I'm so glad I got to use that intro again. This recipe stood out to me mainly because I have a ton of frozen bananas that never made their way into banana bread. Yeah! No one ever makes their way into banana bread. So let's use them up. For the crust, we need 6 ounces of graham crackers, 3 fourths of a cup of walnuts, and 1 stick and 1 tablespoon of butter melted. For the filling, in addition to the aforementioned 5 bananas, we need 1 and a fourth cup of dulce de leche, which we're going to make our own. More on that later. The filling also needs 2 thirds of a cup of brown sugar, and another 1 stick 1 tablespoon of butter and a light pinch of salt. And the whole thing is going to be topped with some unsweetened whipped cream, and dusted with cocoa powder, and maybe topped with more chopped walnuts if I remember to do that. The dulce de leche takes the longest to make, so we're going to start there. Now Mr. Hollywood calls for pre-made dulce de leche or some other caramel, but I'd rather make my own. This method was actually taught to me by my old food product development professor and I never had a chance to try it. Until today. So the only ingredient we need is some sweetened condensed milk. Oops. Opening a can has summoned a cat. Look at her. Look at Sophie. She thinks she's getting food, but she's not. Put the milk into a baking dish, cover that dish with tin foil, and put that dish into something that can hold an inch or so of warm water. Do not get the top wet like I did. This bakes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for like two hours, or until it is as dark as you like. Also, be sure to check on it every once in a while. You don't want the pan of water to run dry. And secondly, you can almost burn it. Both happened to me, and I reconstituted it with a little bit of water and vigorous whisking. You'll also want to whisk it when it's done to smooth out any lumps. For the crust, we blend our graham crackers and nuts until crumbly, and then toss with the melted butter. And it looks <laughs> super greasy. Like this kind of crust should look like wet sand, usually not oil slick over gravel. But I'm gonna trust good old Paul on this one. This gets pressed down into a springform pan. For the offy part of banoffee. We're going to dissolve two-thirds of a cup of brown sugar with the one stick and one tablespoon of butter before stirring in our caramel of choice and bubble bubble toil and treble for five minutes. My bananas are still cold so I'm gonna stir them in now but the recipe says to wait five minutes before adding them. Then we add the filling to our prepared crust and let this chill for 30 minutes before topping with whipped cream. Simple, unsweetened whipped cream. Man, ta -da! Can I actually unmold this? Maybe? It's not a complete disaster, I guess. Now let's take out a slice, you know, if we can. Not really a slice, more of a mess. Oops, and I forgot the cocoa powder. There we go. And I'm leaving off the extra nuts. Well, it's not my favorite nut anyway. This is a documented fact. Well, time to do my best Paul Hollywood impression and... Oh. Oh gosh, that's a... Thing. <laughs> Ugh. You know, I was worried about that crust. Don't eat another bite. Past me. You'll regret it. Yeah. The crust is mega soggy and butterlogged, despite, according to Mr. Hollywood, and I quote, Pie crust can get a bit soggy, so I've used a crunchy walnut and cracker crumb. It reminds me of the problems I've had with Alton Brown's Green Grape Cobbler, which I filmed a while ago. Although the butter problem there was on the top rather than the bottom. And like, I like sweet desserts. This might be just a touch too sweet for me. The unsweetened whipped cream helps, and the cocoa powder too. It's not quite enough. So I'd fix the crust first because it's like ingesting a bunch of weird soft gravel slick with fat. 
It also needs like so much less butter and maybe baked a bit to increase the crunch and drive off some of that water. The filling, I think the filling's fine. I think I made a mistake using the frozen bananas. I think the fresher flavor and texture of not frozen bananas would probably help lighten things along. And the whipped cream is fine. No notes. Right move to leave it unsweetened and to add the cocoa powder on top. I really don't want to eat anymore. One day later. Okay, so I went back to it the next day and the deeper chill actually really helped the crust so that it's less bad. I unfortunately don't have footage for this, but I kind of sort of like it now and shared it with some of my coworkers. And they said such glowing reviews as a flavor explosion in my mouth and pretty great. And I liked that it wasn't overly sweet and the crust was pretty good. So like, maybe I was just a grump who doesn't appreciate my own baking. The more you know. Even after all this, I still feel like I would probably lose at the Great British Bake Off. But to my relief, maybe Paul Hollywood's Banoffee Pie would lose too. Thank you very much for watching. Sophie came over when I opened the can because she thinks she's getting cat food, the silly thing. Sophie's.